as another snowstorm begins to move into the heart of the Midwest. Most locals take to their homes with blankets and warm fireplaces. A dedicated few arm themselves with shovels and snowblowers to clear their properties. Even fewer make their living out there in the cold, out in the snow. They are the snowmen. Okay, so this is a pretty big storm. It's uh, New Year's Day and it hit us. It started last night on New Year's Eve and it's been snowing for two days straight. So we're hitting a lot of the counts twice. I'm, do I'm flying solo tonight. Um, couldn't get anybody to uh, help me. My brother Matt wanted to party, a uh, New Year's party, and didn't want to come out and help today. Uh, my brother Tim's up on vacation, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, Tori's doing a, a job or two for me today, which is really nice to help out, but he's got his own thing uh, going on, so. Anyway, it's going to be a long night. We'll be going on until it stops, till after it stops snowing. Okay, so uh, right now I'm heading. Uh, Tori was doing a job for me, and uh, he got stuck, apparently. So. So I'm gonna head down there and uh, try and help him get out, pull him out, whatever needs to be done. Things happen. Tori was doing a job for me and uh, he got stuck. So I'm gonna head down there and uh, pull him out. He wasn't stuck too bad, uh, you know, sometimes you just get hung up on the piles like that. Um, luckily I was close by and just able to just pull him out quick and uh, he was able to finish the job, no problem. Alright, it's uh, January 2nd, been plowing all night, it's about 8.30 a.m. And I uh, got one, one account left to do, which should take about an hour. And then just go home to uh, get some sleep finally. Been taking little cat naps here and there a couple times throughout the last 48 hours. But it'll be nice to get a good eight hours in. Oh yeah, here's a good one. Look at it roll. Oh! There you go, is that, that was, high enough? That was 
Oh, oh. Those are the ones that get you stuck. Okay, Ryan, that happens to look everybody. At, look at all of it on the hood. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Those are the ones that could potentially get you stuck. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because you, get you too can put snow your front on. end into the snow pile and get buried. I had a bunch of snow rolling off the front edge of the plow. When it starts curling over when you got it in the V position. The V or in the scoop? I mean the scoop position. Yeah. I thought Backward. so. <laughs> Backwards V. An upside down V. When you have it in an upside down V position. Also noted it as an N. <laughs> Greater than or less than. You can make that higher, right? No. I don't want to be able to see sky. Hey, <laughs> hey when the snow comes down, the boss backs you up. I've heard that. I have heard that. I never knew what the snow, more. If, if it's in most scoop? Confused me. Really? Yeah, the greater than and less than. Are you kidding me? Oh, I still don't know those. I mean, I, I know they are. Greater. Yeah, but I don't know which one is which. Which which is which. Which the one where the funnel's pointing to the left is greater than. The one yeah, and like you're gonna try and tell me now, but I'm still not gonna no, remember. It, all you gotta think of it. That's fine, just let it go. I'm just the guy who plows, I don't need to know greater than or less than. And plus the boss backs me up. You're not, when the snow you're not teaching down. children good values. I'm not here to teach children. I don't need to know I'm, math. I'm not here to teach children. I'm here to plow. I'm blue collar. I, was, I don't need to know math. Hey, I was put on this earth to plow. Don't, don't even <laughs> look out the corner of your eye at the camera. I used to produce a show on cable access. Oh, you did? Since you were asking. Oh. Uh, it was a comedy show, actually, so... Wait, Ryan, are you more serious now? I'm more serious now. I can't tell the joke. This isn't my first venture into uh, showdom. I don't think that's the right word. What? I like showdom. I make up my own words here, okay? I don't need to know about literacy. You know, I'm blue collar. <laughs> what's, what's blue collar? I don't have a blue collar. Actually, it's more like yellow. Yeah, it well, was white. <laughs> But my, my wife, uh, bless her heart. <laughs> You're not allowed to use that term. That's our term. Our term? You're not from the South. From the spawn of the South. <laughs> the spawn.
gonna be running out of room here soon. There's been so much snow, they're running out of places to put it. It's uh, it's been snowing all day, but not really heavily. So we only got maybe an inch of snow. Uh, this one wasn't a big one, but uh, they got a commercial account to do. Basically, like one or two accounts to do um, with just a little light snowfall. There's supposed to be another bigger storm coming in tomorrow. Um, they say two to four inches so I uh, might do all the accounts then if we get that two to four inches uh, some of the models though look like it might shift the storm south so we'll just have to wait and see and, and watch uh, watch how it does So it's been about a week since our last snowfall and uh, the only thing is it's been very cold and windy and I think a lot of our wind chills have been around 20 below so not fun to be out in even if you like the winter. Uh, what's happening now is a lot of the snow has been drifting so um, Tori's actually gonna be going down to do one of my commercial accounts for me to just do some cleanup because uh, the winds and everything have been whipping and uh, well it blows stuff back on the lot and when you have uh, those commercial lots you got to keep them clear so well, I was ready to rock and roll I've had to put a new cutting edge on it and mind you this plow I got over in August and it was really abused. I put a new edge on it, cutting edge, and put two new left and right rams on it. Um, new headlight on the left side. Just really abused plow. Lots of, a lot of the mechanisms in there too. So. Now it's all lubricated and they're brand new parts. I'll have a good plow for the rest of my days. I went to a particular dealer. He was less than kind so I stopped going to him and went to another dealer for my plow some of my plow uh, amenities and they worked with me but they didn't have quite the knowledge or the experience which ended up costing me more money in the end so I want my third dealer today but they seem to know they know what's going on there you go so we got a uh... Storm, storms coming in this weekend, right? Yep. We've got one on Friday and one on Saturday. Same, about a couple inches out of both of them. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. It's going to be, this next storm is going to be the 12th time we go out. So, that'll be good. Capture. I guess it's the, the very extreme temperatures have been taxing on everybody and, and the equipment as well. But, to deal with it.
got another storm coming in tonight. Um, been quite a crazy year, but there, because there's been so much snow, there's actually been a salt shortage in the uh, Chicago area. Tori bought three pallets um, from Home Depot. Uh, we had to drive a little bit of distance. It wasn't the Home Depot right here in town, but uh, he got it. They're actually 20 pound bags or 40 pound bags of salt. Normally they're 50, so it was actually a little more expensive for less product, but we're kind of in a situation where we need it, so uh, we got it. So that's that. We're uh, all stocked with salt now and ready to go for the next storm. We got another one coming pretty soon. And all young plow guys out there, I suggest starting off with a joystick because what you start off with is what you're going to be most comfortable with and what you will probably want for the rest of your days. And I suggest a joystick because they're so much easier and they're more they're less complicated than the little push button jobs. Uh, this, this crap right here, I'll tell you, there's no way to undo it, but you hit the up button twice real fast and the thing goes all the way up. Or you hit it down real fast and it goes down into float mode. Um, it doesn't work so good whenever you're trying to push a little bit over grass or gravel and you just need it to go up just a hair and you didn't go up just far enough, but you need to go up just a little bit more and you didn't go up far enough and you go up just a little bit more. So you hit, end up hitting it three times in a row and all of a sudden it goes all the way up. You don't get a good scrape. You don't get a good, you know, you don't, the blade's not where you want it when you're going over. So you have to end up going backwards, going back over it again. So you swapped it out. You swapped it out with the joystick right here. It's used, but I don't care, it works. And I'm happy, I'm actually much happier now. Signs are stopping, and I brought some corn for popping. Well, I talked her way down low. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. When we finally kissed, time goodbye. to make some green cabbage, baby. Uh, there you go. <laughs> but if you really hold me tight, all the way home I'll be warm. The fire is slowly dying, and my dear, we're still goodbye. But as long as you love. 